everyone, Mango7 here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7. Today we're going to do something that's been asked about quite a bit lately, and that's go over my units and, and kind of talk about each one of them and what I think about them, why I built them, whether or not they filled that role, and just an overall review of the units I've six starred so far. Um, and maybe I'll give them a rating or something in terms of like how much they've helped my progress and how much I like them. Um, we're going to start off with water today, I feel like. So uh, we'll, we'll go through we'll go through the ice units and, and kind of take a look one by one. See how long the video is and then maybe go into another color. So we're going to start off from the very, very top in no particular order here. Uh, we have Dizzy, and it's no secret that Dizzy is basically 10 out of 10. I regret 0% of what I put into Dizzy. She has done um, infinite basically everywhere for me, in Guild Wars, in PvP, in PvE, literally everywhere. She has just been an all-star, so 0% uh, regret on her, 10 out of 10 rating. As for how I built her, um, I went for as fast as possible while having immunity. And I know 204 isn't really fast, but um, it's the fastest I can get, uh, to be honest, for what she had. And I felt like she could be a little slower having um, immunity on. She also has Ayala Violin as well, which is just kind of one of the most OP uh, artifacts in the game right now. Really happy with her build, really happy with everything about her. 14k is pretty tanky too. You know, if um, we get a Sez trying to cleave my team, um, they might not kill my Dizzy, so that's kind of why I have her like this. Next up is Zeno. Um, Zeno is kind of cheating. I don't regret farming him one bit because he was a free triple S six star, but um, he's kind of useless. I still haven't seen any use for him. I think I tried to build him once, but just zero interest whatsoever on him. Um, yeah, so that's about it with Zeno. We're going to skip over him real quick. And if you're watching this video, not sure who Zeno is. He was a event thing you could farm recently. Or not recently, like four or five months ago or something like that. And you cannot get him anymore, but don't worry, you didn't miss much. Um, next up, we have Dn. Dn is limited, obviously. So if you uh, are wondering where she is, you can't get her either. And, you know, I don't regret Dn, but I regret the Mulagora I put into Dn. Um, I put way too many into her, and granted, she's worth it. She is amazing. But me, personally, I don't really use her as much as I should. And I definitely didn't use her when she was, like, the all-star sort of unit. So I feel like I lost a little bit of effectiveness with her there. For some reason, I even put some in her skill 1 because I'm ridiculous sometimes. But overall, I'm decently happy with her. She has helped out, but maybe not as much as I would have liked. Uh, I wanted to get her as fast as possible while a tanky as possible with a little bit of effect resistance, which is kind of what I ended up with here. Um, this is her gear as well. As always, speed set is really important, and right now I'm using her to counter other um, Dizzy slash MLA Aramintha slash Bale teams. I just put her on there, and she usually handles it just fine. She's not going to die to them, and um, even if they go through immunity and everything like that, she's still most likely going to survive, and then uh, live to tell the tale, has Wondrous Potion and everything too, so... I'm really happy with her right now for Guild Wars, and I'm actually using her more so now than I ever really have before, so I'm pretty stoked about that. And we have Krow, and my one regret with Krow is I haven't built him yet. Uh, I haven't even... He's never had gear on. I just got him like a month ago, uh, but I just... Uh, I'm kind of waiting for HP% percent rings, because I don't have any HP% percent rings. All I have is attack defense um, and attack defense, basically. So I've been putting him off until we are able to craft rings, and I kind of regret that because I feel like he'd really help me out right now. Um, cannot wait to build him, but uh, for now he's going to sit here as naked as possible. Next up, we have Luna without an artifact. Um, that's not good. Why does she never have an artifact on? Doesn't matter what I do, she doesn't have an artifact on. So Luna is somebody I don't regret, but at the same time I do, uh, because I triple S Luna. That was a terrible idea. I should not have done that. Um, I also should have more skill ups in her skills, but I just... I don't know why. I, I have no idea what I'm doing with Luna. She just is kind of... Like, fills that void that so many other people can fill. And I just never really invested too much into her. Right now, I have her extremely slow because I gear her with uh, Tamarin and Isaria, which means she gets a full ATB boost. 
or combat readiness boost, and then she gets a combo attack or a dual attack right after, basically. So that's why she's kind of sitting on this gear. Um, she does enough to kill things, but not enough to, like, kill all the things, so I need to fix that still. Definitely the only regret I have is triple S'ing her. I really don't think I needed to do that, uh, which is pretty obvious by now. Um, so I, I am very happy with where she is, and I'm happy she's just in kind of leftover gear right now, and she's doing insane. Ah, uh, Sez. So, for those of you who don't know, Sez was one of my 1-4 summons. I got Destina and Sez both at 1-4. Um, and I have a lot of regret with Sez. Like, a lot, a lot of regret with Sez. Sez is one of those units that I didn't want to build. I don't know why, but I didn't want to build him, and he carried me early game, and then I just forgot about him forever. And I really wish I didn't do that. Because um, my first ever ML was an Auxiliary Lots, and I thought, wow, Auxiliary Lots is insane. His skill set is so good. I love him. He's going to be so good with Sez and so good with anybody else, and he's going to be the best for PvP. And then I said, buddy has a bull cut, and never used him. So um, my bad there. And I think if I had used Ox Lots early and used Sez early like I should have, I'd be in a much better space right now, especially PvP-wise, or I at least would have done better in um, previous PvP. So overall, he is one of my biggest time savers right now, and he's what makes PvP tolerable. So I am very, very happy with him. Zero regrets whatsoever. I even Mulligore at him recently. Maybe I need to go to um, the final one there too. And I really like his skill set, and uh, I hope they don't nerf any sort of combo with him because it just makes my life so, so, so much easier. Ah, uh, Yuna. It's me, Yuna. So, for those of you who saw the starting of my account, you'll know Yuna was one of my first six stars. Um, I even have a Mulagora in Yuna. So, Yuna is one of those units I love to death, but she just doesn't have anything going for her. Her damage isn't really too high, and granted there's the Soul Sphere with that insane Yuna, but um, you have to put so many resources into her to do that, and I think it's better somewhere else. Um, her buff is great. Attack and speed buff is really, really solid. I, I do agree with that. Speed buff is something not everybody gives. It's really rare to have on a team. And uh, the big problem is her skill 1 and skill 3 just do damage. They don't really do anything else, and that's it. Uh, unfortunately, that's it. And she also doesn't even do a ton of damage. So, like, she only really does damage on her 1 and 3, and she doesn't do very much of it. And the other problem is her skill 3, while it has a penny shot, and it is amazing looking, it takes forever. So I'm not sure what it would take to make Yuna better. Um, I loved her to death when I used her at the start, but it definitely held me back using her. So I'm not sure what it would take, what kind of change would need to be made to um, make her better, but something something has to be done. Like, maybe if Upgrade um, gave her another turn or something like that. Like, that wouldn't be ridiculous. Uh, I, I have no idea, but something needs to be done with her to kind of put her up to speed right now. And the cool thing is, she's got insane AoE, so like... She's got that little niche that other water units don't have, so I feel like maybe she'll be used in the future. I definitely don't regret six-starring her, because she served me really well when I used her, you know? Like, she was there, she was by my side, she helped me um, survive with her speed buff, she did a little bit of damage, she was really good versus a lot of um, raid bosses and everything too, being able to um, get that guy out of stealth with Yuna, being able to take out um, anything that as debuff uh, aggression, so like Julie Council or Sez or something like that. Like overall, she did really well for me. And we have Kisei. Oh, my girl Kisei. So right now Kisei is primarily a Wyvern 11 bot. That's all she does. Um, but I've started to use her more in PvP, and the reason is with Tamai Seria, she does so much damage. And even though she's only 126 speed. Having um, Tamai Seria go and boosting her up and getting a skill 3 is just insane amounts of damage. So, um, I, I don't even know what to say about Kisei. I used her everywhere. I love her skill 3 to death. It does so much damage. But maybe I put a little bit too many Mulagoras into her. Um, I'm really not sure. But she she's one of my favorites. I don't regret it, but uh, I would love to use her elsewhere. 
And one of the big problems I have with her is um, to be able to be used in PvE and like PvP places outside of Wyvern 11, I feel like she needs to be a lot faster. And if I make her a lot faster, she's nowhere near as good at Wyvern 11, um, especially with Idol's Cheer and my Tamarin that I run. So it makes me really hard and really puts her in a bad place because of that. And I just wish there was a way to get like the best of both worlds, you know, so I could use her more. And we have Angelica, and there's obviously 0% regret on Angelica. She carried me hard early game um, after I switched Destina to her. She does almost nothing right now. The only thing I use Angelica for is her um, Wyvern 11 tanking, and that's it. And that's why she has 94 speed. Uh, that's why she is slow as heck, and she does basically nothing. She's just there to get as much done as possible in Wyvern 11 and literally nothing else. And she's there to push up the combat readiness of Kisei, and that's it. 0% uh, regret on her whatsoever. And I don't think it's bad to ever build her just because of Wyvern 11. I'm also pretty happy with my skill ups. I thought about going further into skill 2, but I'm glad I didn't. And obviously I needed to get this here. Um, I think we're at the point in the game where Angelica is actually pretty solid for Guild Wars. Uh, and I feel like if I got a better Angelica, I'd be able to use her there. But then I would have to switch around my Wyvern 11 team, and that's something I don't want to do. So she's kind of in the exact same position right now with Kisei, where I just cannot do anything. And then we have Clarissa. So I just built Clarissa recently. She's double S, and I built her because I love her VA. Her VA is amazing. Um, that was the wrong chest. Her VA is so, so good. I, it's Abby Trot, I believe. I love her to death. Um, I'm just putting stuff on to fix her so I can use her for um, farming right now. I really wish I built Clarissa earlier because if I had built Clarissa basically right at the start when I should have, um, as a farmer before I got Vildred, I feel I could be much better than where I am now. And uh, I just kept putting her off because I had Vildred, but there's so many people Vildred isn't as good against. And not only that, but she's good versus Wyvern 11. She's um, great for PvP cleave a while ago when, when that was the rage. And overall, I'm just really happy with her, and she doesn't take too much investment either. You can give her one of your older um, DPS sets and she'll be fine. So, like, my regret in Clarissa is not building her sooner. That said, I don't think she's going to do anything to my account. Like, I don't think she's really going to add anything that any of my other characters don't already do. So this is more like a fun build instead, and kind of one that I just wanted to have for the future, and just wanted to have because I just love her character design. It's amazing. So that's the ice units. That's less than I expected. So let's take a look at the light units, I guess. Yeah, we'll take a look at the lights. I don't want to do too many in um, in one video here because it's going to be too long. We actually don't have many light units. And here is where we're going to have some regret, let me tell you. So we have General Purgus. And this guy, I six-starred and used him for one guild war. He's triple S and never touched him again. Um, that's my fault, but I just, I just don't have the gear for this guy. And that's always been my biggest problem with a lot of these people, is I just literally don't have the gear to be able to use them where I want to use them. Um, specifically tanks. You'll find any of my tanks, I only have a few HP percent stuff going around. So it's really, really hard for me to gear them up, um, so I end up just not touching them. Oh, Pergus is one of those. I think he's gotten a fantastic skill set. I like the stun. I like the um, combat readiness. Everything about him is great. But I definitely regret six-starring him just because I don't have a use for him and I have not touched him whatsoever. Um, but I will in the future. I'm just not sure when. So he's definitely on the rate of, uh, of um, screwing up and shouldn't have six-starred. Uh, next up is Blaze Dingo. I had a lot of hope for Blaze Dingo, and I feel like looking at him now, I need to put some gear on him. Um, I love his design, I love his gloves, I love his other glove, I love his swords there, or whatever those are. He's such a great design character, and the reason why I built Blaze Dingo was to have somebody to go along with Vildred. So like Vildred plus v Blaze Dingo on an offensive set um, with Celestine or something like that would farm stuff way faster than Vildred and like a Tamarin or something like that. So I wanted him as an offensive farmer to speed up things where Vildred can't solo, and he does that just right. But I haven't really used him for that, and I'm not sure why. 
So maybe after this video, I'm going to give him some gear. He's got great base speed. He's got great everything. I really love this guy. I guess one of the problems is um, not having enough Celestines or something. I'm really not sure. But uh, maybe maybe it's time to give our boy Blaze Dingo a little more love. I definitely don't regret six-starring him, but at the same time, I kind of regret it. So I guess we'll 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 talk about that one later, and maybe we'll we'll see some Dingo action in the future. Oh, Guider Aether. This makes me sad. Looking at the light units makes me really sad. Um, I've never been as happy, I think, in this game as when I summoned Guider Aether. Uh, I love her. Uh, Guider Aether's VA as well. Um, Frida Wolf is the person who does it. She also does um, Tressa. She also does a bunch of other things. Absolutely amazing. And I just, I just never used Guider Aether, and I don't know why. And it makes me really sad. So this, this is like the gr regret for Guider Aether is not the regret of building him or. Um, investing into him it's the the regret that i never gave guider aether the time of day and i don't know why i six started him immediately and literally i don't think we've ever actually used him so maybe this is something we need to revisit pretty soon uh, i love the decreased speed maybe it could be higher um regular aether had a decreased speed right maybe maybe guider aether should get it too i love this too um Barrier is great. Maybe it's just because he needed Molagora and I just didn't have the Molagora. Uh, continuous healing and healing is great too. Uh, like everything about him is fantastic and what I want. So I need to reconsider Aether. Like I even six star awakened him. Like <laughs> I was ready, you know, but I just didn't build him. And now I'm full of regrets. So I need to go do that. We'll, we'll do that today, maybe on stream. Uh, I've got to find a place to use him. Anyway. Next up is Wanderer Silk, and Wanderer Silk is a recent 6-star, and as for now, she hasn't really done anything worthwhile. But that doesn't mean I, I um, don't regret or that doesn't mean I regret her, it just means she's not ready to do her thing yet. So give me like a week with her and let me try her out and let me get this new patch going out there. And then maybe I'm going to have a good old time with her, but for now, she's not really doing much other than screwing up my runs, and I hope, I hope something changes soon with her uh with the new content coming holy and now we get to regret so we have kicker at here and there's zero regret here uh let's be real kicker at has been an all-star for pvp you cannot get him anymore if you're wondering he actually honestly like i need to build this guy again he's so good i don't know why his base stats are really solid 749 defense 5600 um hp I really need to give him some more gear. We're going to gear him up again soon, too, and get his final Awaken done, because this guy... Ooh, we can even do it now. Nice. This guy has just been fantastic for me. He's been the answer to so, so many of my PvP problems, especially in Guild War, that we need to give him some more love. So maybe we'll do this today, too. Uh, again, zero regret for this guy. He's legitimately helped me out a ton, especially in Guild War. I put him on my Guild War defense. He got me more wins than any other team I've ever put on my defense. So we need to give him some more love, and I'm really excited for that. And then Celeste. So I love Celeste. I love her finger gloves. I love everything about her, but she's not consistent enough for me to use her. And I found I didn't really like her as opposed to just using Oxlot. So I definitely have some regret here. Uh, maybe this would be different if we had some speed imprints for her, but we don't have any imprints for her. Um, but for now, 128 base speed, that is absolutely insane. For now, uh, I don't see a place for her on any of my teams, and I think I would be further if I just didn't build her and did something else instead. So um, I, I really love her character. I love her relationship. I love her um, description even. I, I love everything about her. I don't regret building her because of that. But as for actual playability, she hasn't really done much for me. And the final one. Oh my god, look at you. The final one here. Oh, look at that face. Arrowell. So Arrowell is one of my... Oh, I can't even speak with her looking... Look at... Is she crying? It looks like she's crying there too. Oh my god, you can't pull on my heartstrings like that game. Um... Arrowell is one of those ones I built just because her story with Doris was 10 out of 10. One of the coolest characters we've ever had in a side story, I think, and I think everything about her was just amazing. 
that said she is abysmal she is like the worst unit i've ever used right now and i think my worst six star like i don't think anybody even came close to as bad as how bad airwell actually was so um i'm so sorry i'm so sorry this is her right now after me saying that um but I just, I just don't know what to do. I want to use her so bad, but she's so terrible. I gave her insane gear, like the best gear I had, and she was actually useless. She has a barrier that does basically nothing. Um, she has a 50% chance to dispel a buff, which doesn't really do much. She has a 75% chance to stun, um, which is okay, but, you know, so many other people do that and more. Um... <laughs> and she's just she's just real bad let me tell you i i definitely regret this one with how much i put into her like we put a lot of resources into airwell we switched so much gear we tried her out so much she cost me so much money but um one day one day she'll get a spec change and i'll just be happier than heck look at that loves doris longs for sven so cool so cool. Okay, that's it for now. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped out. We're going to do another episode of this where we cover fire, earth, and probably dark all in one. And um, this is just a way to talk about my units. And if you're ever thinking about six starring any of these units, just let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. And we can talk about it and where I use them and, and kind of how. Um, I feel like my water units were pretty basic. Um, like, they were all basically used for the same style of things. So, kind of interesting to see that and look at it that way. Um, so, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always. And I'll talk to you all later. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everybody.